everyone. Welcome back. This is Nomad Heat TV. And I'm here with another video, as you can see. And I have a little haul. It's a little stationary haul. And not just any type of stationary haul. This is a Japanese stationary haul. Why is that special? Why do we care? You may wonder. It's because Japan is dope, first of all. And as you guys know, if you had seen the past couple videos, did you? Did you? Did you check it out? If you saw those videos, you would know that I was in Osaka and your girl had to check out the stationery shops. Now, I'm not the most artistic person, but I am a creative person and I can def definitely, definitely, definitely appreciate a good stationery shop, a good art shop. I love going to places like that. Even when I was younger, I loved going into Borders. Anybody remember Borders? I don't even know if they exist anymore. Now it's Barnes and Nobles. But I used to go into these places not just only for the books, but checking out like any of like the art stuff and like pencils and bookmarks and like all little like random knickknacks. And I love a knickknack shop. So I did a Google search and one of the places that came up recommended was UArts which is a very cute, well-known stationery shop that's located in Osaka. So I took a visit, had a look around, and it's the cutest shop. Um, the outside, even when you come in, it's like the first, like, if you are a cat lover, anybody that is a cat lover, this place is for you. There's like so many different types of like cat paper, cat pens, cat washi tape. Um, little figurines and that's not just all, every all that they have they also do like framing they have paper they have paints pens like it's just some of the stuff I don't even know the brands like it's just anything that you're looking for if it's when it comes to like your art supplies or if you're someone like me that is starting the whole bullet journal getting on that train then this is the type of place that you would want to find. Oh, I had to go check it out and brought back some goodies. So I'm going to go ahead and crack into this. Now, this bag is little, very little. Okay, you're probably looking at it. It's like this is going to be a short haul. It is going to be a short haul, but this was not cheap. I ain't going to lie. It was definitely on the pricey side. Japan in general is a little bit on the pricey side, but it's a wonderful experience. So get your coins together and go. Like if it's not the eating, the shopping will get you. If it's not the shopping, just taking the damn train or transportation will get you. But it's totally worth it. Before we get into this, y'all should subscribe. I'm just going to say that right now because, uh, I mean, take a look at everything else on this channel. Y'all should subscribe okay check it out subscribe hit the notification bell and all of that and let's go even how they package look at this it's so cute thank you even the little pineapple washi tape so i bought some stuff for me as well as i have brought some stuff as a little like gift for a friend of mine so first first thing i got was some washi tape okay washi tape uh, it's kind of basically decorative tape that you can use when you're scrapbooking. You can use it. Um, let me give you an example. Okay, so just looking right here, this is one part of my bullet journal and this is considered like washi tape. Just used for like decorative purposes, really for whatever you want to use it. So I got this one, which is kind of like uh, pretty cool. looks like planets. And it has like a little bit of gold, which I thought was cute. This was about 264 won, which basically comes out to about, let's just say like two bucks, maybe two. Yeah, I would say like two bucks. And then I also got this other one, which I thought was super gorgeous. Um, let me see, can I crack into this? Let's crack into this. This also is two dollars. Okay. I thought this was really beautiful. It's like a leaf motif, gold and black. This was a little bit more expensive and I don't know, I plan to use this ma mainly for the bullet journaling, but I don't know, it just like really stood out to me. I thought it was so pretty. So there's that. Next up, I have some very beautiful, beautiful postcards. Um, I'm not so much a postcard person, but I pretty much do postcards now when I'm hanging them up in my room just for decoration. So I got this one was of Osaka and Kyoto. 
I did not have a chance to go to Kyoto, unfortunately. That's gonna have to be saved for the next trip. And I also got this one, which is, oh, what is this? Oh, postcard and there's a story in here. Interesting, it comes with a story and I guess, yeah, really cute oh this one i got this is not for me they had some really cool journals some of the journals y'all really nice like i'm talking about high quality paper very thick some of the paper some of the journals had paper that was like you know if you're like an explorer it's explorer you're going out and in somewhere into like the wilderness like they had one book that i looked i'm not even going to mention the cost and it wasn't even big but it's like was leather bound waterproof, uh, it might have been burn proof, I don't know, smudge proof paper, it was like really nice. So they had different quality ones. So I picked up this, okay, this is a slim notebook. Um, this isn't really, is it not real, is this real leather? Wait a minute, hold up. I can't tell, I think it might be leather actually, but um, yeah, I got this one. This is for a friend I thought was really beautiful. And it has like an insert that I also bought with like some cards, like things for saving cards. This is basically like travelers. It says the traveler's notebook. And they had different ones where you can buy and change out the inserts and everything like that, different sizes. So I thought that was pretty cool. And then I also have, this is a other additional notebook to go in the inside. So, has like a calendar part and all of that. This shop was so cool, y'all. Like, I really, really loved it. This was really cool. Should have kept this, I don't know. I haven't decided if I wanna keep this for myself, but let's crack, can I open this? Wait a minute, y'all. Ah! So this one is like a little set, okay? There is, there are very like many small, um, color pencils it comes with a sharpener there this was about four thousand almost like five thousand what is this for excuse me not four thousand y'all i'm getting my wan and my yen mixed up 465 yen so let's just say basically under five bucks for this but i thought it was so cool and let me see if i can open it it wait i don't know how to open it how do you open this joint oh my god oh my girl oh Wait, wait, wait. Struggle, struggle city, wait. Y'all, it just took me a minute to open it. Like the side of my thumb is ashy from trying to slide this thing out. So basically it just does like a sliding, oh shit. What I was saying, it slides open like this. I guess this is great for traveling. I was have this, I, be careful with this one if y'all go to URT. Ooh, God, like everything is just dropping out. <sighs> okay, so they have like a mini sharper, sharpener and then there's also a mini eraser, if I can get that shit out. I'm not even bothering with it. There's a, it looks like there's a mini eraser here. <sighs> it's cool. It's dangerous, but it's cool. Yeah, I'm scared to take this joint out, this joint. Finally. This, I haven't, sometimes like, does anybody like go traveling and you might buy things for people and you can't decide if you want to keep it or give it as a gift? Maybe you intended to give it as a gift and then next thing you know it's like, actually, I think I'm gonna keep this for myself. That's how I'm feeling with this one. I already have a one of these that I got from last time I was in Japan, which was 2016. Um, these are, you've seen the little cute cats that are like this, okay? Uh, they're symbols of, I believe, it, wait, they have the left and the right hand mean two different things, but it's kind of one I think believe is for prosperity, and then, or fortune, and then another one I think has to do. So, real quick, the correct term for the cat, I didn't say, is a maneki neko. That's the name of this uh, figurine. And the left paw raised usually is placed in front of shops. It means to get more money. While the right paw is for the home, usually. Usually associated for prosperity. Okay, back to destroying my shit. I'm having issues. This is like the first, well, this is like the second haul video I've done. And I'm like struggling, y'all. Whew, luckily it's not glass. 
Maybe that's a sign. Wait, let me make sure I get this right. So, okay. They are, I'm not gonna unwrap them because I haven't decided who they're going to, but they're very cute, okay? So one is like, I can't, I have to look up. One is for prosperity, one is kind of like symbolizing health and they each have the opposite hands lifted. I thought this was super cute. I really love cute little figurines like this. You guys peep my previous video because I also have figurines of Gudetama, which is like the cute little like egg character. It's the, from the same company as San, uh, the Sanrio, the same company that makes Hello Kitty. Um, I really like collecting these. I've never been a collector of sorts, but when it comes to these items, they're so cute. And so I had to, I had to leave out of there with them. I had to get them. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I haven't decided what I'm going to bring <laughs> or what I'm going to give to my friend, but that's it, y'all. This was just super, super quick. I thought it was cool to share like my little gifts. Um, I don't often bring things back when I travel or souvenirs for anyone. So um, yeah, except for certain like places where it's like super unique. I always like to do that. And Japan is one of those places. Guys, if you like this, leave a comment, leave a like, you know, all of that good stuff. And I don't know, what do you guys think? Should I keep the cats or should I give them as a gift? I don't know, I need help. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys, wherever you are in the world, are having a wonderful day. And as always, be happy, be healthy, be well. And I'll see y'all on the next one, on the next one. Peace, bye. <laughs>